turn to health news right now, and Maria Hayes is here with an encouraging story for people battling lung cancer tonight. Hi, Maria. Nick, surviving lung cancer is something to celebrate. It continues to be the deadliest form of the disease for both men and women. But tomorrow afternoon, Hamilton St. Joseph's Healthcare will be recognizing the survivors, about 200 people who managed to beat it. I had a second x-ray done, and that's when they seen it that I was right, it was cancer, and it was two of them already, one on top and one on the bottom. 83-year-old Helen Schlotter knew something wasn't right last summer and insisted on the scans that revealed her lung cancer. I knew it had something to do with smoking. I knew it. I knew I felt it uh, when I started wheezing. Two things happened after the diagnosis. Helen was sent to St. Joseph's LDAP, or Lung Diagnostic Assessment Program, and she quit smoking. I quit immediately, without any medication or any help. Just like they say, cold turkey. Now in its third year, LDAP is a one-stop shop for lung cancer patients across Hamilton and Niagara. A nurse navigator oversees each patient's treatment process and appointments, and there are plenty. This is a long and complex process uh, that takes more than several weeks, during which we scan the patients from top to bottom, we check their hearts, their hearts, we check their lungs, we make sure that there is nothing else except for the lung cancer itself. Although tobacco use is the number one cause, 15% of lung cancer patients have never smoked. It's a disease that develops with no symptoms until it becomes more advanced and more difficult to treat. However, results from a recent U.S. study advocate screening high-risk or heavy smokers with a CT scan even before symptoms start. Canadian physicians hope to adopt the screening soon. And hence, we should be able to diagnose many more cancers in an earlier stage when we can cure the patients. Meanwhile, Helen has recovered well from surgery. The most recent test results have cleared her of the disease. So I'm finally free. Thank God for that. Medical experts agree the best defense against lung cancer is to stop smoking. Even if you've been hooked on the habit for decades, healthcare providers say it's never too late. Nick? That's good to hear. All right, thanks a lot, Maria.